viewers welcome to my channel emiriki stitches today i'm going to illustrate on how to cut a bat wing crop top this crop top you can make it in less than five minutes the requirement the only requirement you have is just the elastic that's four inches elastic you can also decide to use a stretchy scuba fabric to do this you can use a stripe one yard stripe fabric you can also use vintage like what i'm going to use now or chiffon of your choice colorful chiffon of your choice that's the only requirement then the measurement what you the measurement require just the full length the bust the shape and the shoulder that's the only requirement that you need to make this bat wing top as you've seen on the thumbnail because we're going to start work properly this top you can use it with leggings you can use it with thread skates bodycon skirts and also you can wear it to any occasion of your choice it's a casual way you don't say what you when you're a designer you can you yourself as a beginner you can make this because it's a very simple top that you might make in less than five minutes and wear it thank you first of all you're going to open up the fabric it's just one yard that one that's by 60 36 by 60 it's just one yard of fabric as you've seen the chiffon fabric you fold it first into two like equal parts like what you've seen me do open it up fold it into two and you fold it also again back into four this is what you will have <laughs> make it into four equal parts there's no zipper here there's no zipper allowance but this is it and decide to place it this way since my table is not wide enough to accommodate it okay it's for one two three and then four this is what we have no zipper allowance is where you have the openings then yeah there's no cut or anything and to make the back wing top it's very simple to make that even a beginner can make it as we're going to trim for it to be equal as we've noticed some are still longer than some okay oh we're going to take the full length the full length here we have 17 is a four inches um, elastic that is going to complete our length so what we have is just 17 so we're going to set to work now after having this 17 here we're going to turn our tape don't forget this is the full length i turned the fabric because of the table then we take the person's my client's shoulder the shoulder here is 15 15 divided by two we have seven and a half then this will save as extension of the shoulder since it's a bat wing top. Then we have up to 20, 20 and a half here. After the shoulder, we have up to 20 and a half. Okay. As you can see, after the shoulder, 20 and a half. Then the front neck. I'm going to take the front neck now. Neckline. The up, upper part will be, is 4 inches. Then the lower part, lower the one neck line is i'm going to take seven inches so that it will be free for her to wear be free or seven and a half sorry and i'll connect it is a v neck she wants but the front and the back won't be the same so i'm going to still take for the remember what we are having now is for the can use your ruler to have a straight v neck what we are having now is for the front and the back but the folding is for front and the back but i'm going to open it up so as to separate i'll separate it using the shoulder so that i can have different neckline for the back now the back is going to be a round neck i'm going to take for the back neckline one and a half since there is no zipper why i took seven in front so that it should be easy for the person to wait past the neck very well your head from your head very well so i'll take one and a half for the down neck then seven inches for the 
front neckline first of all i'm going to cut out the back neckline seen me do that's for the back neckline and i'm going to separate the shoulder so that we can have i can cut i can separate the front from the back Okay, we are done separating the shoulder now. We are going to separate the fabric the front from the back. So we can have them separately. This is for our back and for the front. Make sure you arrange it well. You can use a pin to hold it down. Office pin. Open up the neck. It's your choice. You can decide to make the front and the back V, v neck. You can dip it more than this. this. Sorry. Like I said, it's your choice. This is it. The front, you have the V neck line. And the back, you have the round neckline all what you have to do is that you use bias to pipe this all around after joining the shoulder merely after joining the shoulder is the back neckline this is the front this is the back you use a bias to pipe it then you join the the shoulder to shoulder like you've seen now shoulder to shoulder you've seen the v-neck already then after joining the shoulder to shoulder how what you need again to do like you've already had the down it's for you to run a gathers down here you run your gathers to the shape to the desired shape of your client like mine is 31 so i'm going to run a gathers down here down here down here to have the 31 then i'll cut my elastic four inch elastic I bought one yard, this is up to two yards, but I'll use one yard for her. So I'm going to cut the one yard 18, 18, put one of the 18 behind, put one of the 18 in front. From there, I'll take the shape by the side to have that um, back wing, this thing. You see the shoulder here will drop, the shoulder will drop while we have the air gathered down. So we're going to set to work, you're going to see it now. After running the gathers, this is how the top will look. This is how I just use my thread and needle just to run through so as to show you how it will look. After running the gathers, this is how it will look. You've turned your bias on the neck, join the shoulder, and this is how it will look. Seen it. I gathered it since my um, this thing is um, the shape of my client is 31. I decided to take 32 with the joining allowance to see how it will look see it if you use your tape to measure from here to here you have 16 for what this side 16 for the other side making it 32. so you now cut out your elastic and to you join attach one of it to this other side while you attach the other to the other to the back side this is how it will look one to this other end one to this other end this is how your top will look then you close the sides to have your top don't forget this side so please bend it so have a neat work bend the sides 
and this is how your your bat wing top look when you're done you can see the elastic attached here i've not sewed it in because i'm not close to machine now but i've carried it out so that you can see but i assure you this is what you have when you're done it's just a simple top that you can in less than five minutes you're done and you wait and see it already prepared is the sleeve starts from the shoulder to your ankle bone that's it and the elastic to complete the crop top the v-neck everything hope you learned something thank you please don't fail to subscribe for more and click on the notification button so that you can be getting notifications whenever a new video arrives thank you very much